To do the granny square for the sleeves, you're gonna start by doing a magic circle. And then do 12 single crochet around the magic circle. After you've done this 12 single crochet, you're gonna do a slip stitch to the first single crochet that you did to create the circle. For round two, you're gonna switch to the pink yarn, attach the yarn into one of uh, the single crochet, and you're gonna do puff stitch to create the petal of uh, the flower. So to do so, you're gonna first chain three in the single crochet where uh, you attach the yarn. And then you're gonna yarn over, insert your hook in the same single crochet and pull up a loop uh, that is as high as the chain three. And then you're gonna repeat that four more times. When you're done with that, you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops that you did and do a chain one. And that's going to create your first petal of the flower. You're going to chain one again and go to the other puff stitch. So go to the next single crochet and repeat the same thing. So here you yarn over, go through all the loops and chain two. So insert your hook, pull up a loop as high as the first chain three that you did, repeat that five more times, pull up all the loop, chain two, and repeat that for all the single crochet. So you should have 12 puff stitch at the end of this. When you're done, just do a slip stitch in the chain three that you did at the beginning of the row. Here I forgot uh, to record row three, so I'm gonna show you just here what I did. So you're gonna start by making a chain three here at the beginning in the space in the first space so you have to slip stitch in the first space and then do two more half double crochet then you go to the next space do three half double crochet into the next space you're going to create your first corner so it's going to be three half double crochet chain one and three half double crochet here three half double crochet another corner so three half double crochet chain one three half double crochet three here a corner another three a corner three corner three and in the last space that was your first space also you're gonna do three half double crochet chain one and then slip stitch in the first in the chain three that you did and it's gonna complete your credit square For the sleeve, you're also going to need a half double, a uh, half granny square. I'm going to show you here how to do it. So start by doing a magic circle. And for round one, you're going to make six single crochet. So super pretend you don't need to slip stitch the single crochet at the end because it's a half granny square. So fast enough and 
take the pink yarn to continue with the petal. And here, like you did with the, the granny square, you're gonna do six petals, so six puff stitch into each of the single crochet. So here, start by doing a chain three, and then yarn over, insert your hook in the same single crochet. Do that four more times. And then yarn over, pull through all loops, chain one to close the petal or the buff stitch, and then chain one. And do the same thing for the other petal. So when you're done with round two, just fast enough and switch to the proper yarn. Super important to start always on the same side so you don't go back and forth. Just start like for me here on the right side. So attach the purple yarn in the first puff stitch that you did. So here you're going to chain two and do two half double crochet into the first puff stitch. So not the space, the first puff stitch. And then into the first space you're going to do three other half double crochet. The next space, you're gonna do three half double crochet, then chain one and three other half double crochet, and it's gonna create your um, your corner. Then three half double crochet to the next space. In the next space, it's gonna be three half double crochet, chain one and three half double crochet to create uh, the other corner. And here in the last space, you do three half double crochet. And then place three half double crochet into the last puff stitch. And then here you can fasten off. And you've done the half cranny square. To assemble the granny square together, you're going to do a stitch that is called the flap slip stitch. And to do so, you need to insert your hook into the back loop only on a corner of your granny square. And it's important that you do it from front to back. So same thing here on the left side, front to back on the back loop only. After that, just take a yarn and you put a, a loop on it. So you insert your loop into the crochet hook and you pull through the two loops that you had on your hook. Normally the color of the yarn would be the same as your work, but here I'm using a contrasting color to show you. So it's super important, it's really like the main part that you need to remember, is that your working yarn is always behind uh, your work. So here. And we're going to repeat the same thing. So you insert your hook always on the right side first, in the back loop only, going from front to back. After that, going on the left side, front to back. Here you're going to yarn over and pull through all the loops that you have on your hook. Make sure that your yarn is always behind your work, so behind your crochet and your stitches. So 
So here you have done two stitches, I'm going to repeat the same thing. Insert your crochet back loop only from front to back to the same thing on the left side. Yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. And I'd like to just need to repeat that until the end of this side of uh, your granny square. Finally, let me show you how to do the pico border to finish your sleeve. So to do so, you need to do a single crochet, then chain three, and do a single crochet in the first chain that you did. It's going to create your pico. And then between two pico, you can either do two single crochet or three. So whatever you prefer, here I did two single crochet. And then another single crochet and do the chain again. So the chain three, single crochet in the first chain that you did. And then you just continue to do the pico border all around the sleeve. 